Today, we got an old classic. I'm going to save you a trip to the store. Let's do some eggnog, y'all. Let's get to it. It's JB Sutton Hands. So first thing, you need six egg yolks. So I'm going to start by separating the egg yolk from the egg white. And what you want to do, basically, crack it open. Try to get it, you know, even the eggshells, even as you can. And just flip-flop the yolk back and forward until all the egg white is gone. And I tried a lot of boxed eggnogs. And it just don't taste right. It's got this weird little aftertaste to it. Make it from scratch. We'll have to worry about that. We know it's fresh. It's going to be delicious. And don't let the eggs like go to waste, y'all. It'll make you some little eggs in the morning. It'll be less cholesterol right way healthy for you because eggs too hot to throw them away. All right. Now that we got our egg yolk separated from the egg whites, we're going to add one third cup of sugar to this. And we're just going to blend this until it's a nice, smooth consistency. We got all the sugar mixed in with the egg yolk. So this is how we want it to look. Uh, just make sure you scrape the bottom of your bowls. Uh, make sure there's no excess sugar left. So the stove is turned off, and we're going to add three cups of whole milk. So you can go ahead and put your stove on medium high heat. We're going to add a little bit of nutmeg to this. Then a little bit of cinnamon. And as always, if you need the ingredients to this, just check the description of the video and leave a comment and let me know if you ever had the homemade eggnog, what you think about it versus the store bought. But we're just going to whisk this up. Uh, just make sure you keep an eye on it. We don't want the milk to start boiling. So you see we got our um, cinnamon nutmeg milk mixture. Hot. It's uh, steaming, but it's not boiling. We're just going to take a sift. And we're going to transfer this right into our egg sugar mixture. And then we're going to quickly transfer it back into the pot. But make sure you're stirring it up because we don't want this egg to start to cook. And we get this weird nutmeg stramma egg mixture. So just keep whisking it, keep whisking it. I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit. Add this right back to the pot. Now, I really, really recommend that if you don't have one, you want these food thermometers because we want to get this this mixture to um, 165 degrees to make sure we get the eggs pasteurized. If we want to get any salmonella or anything like that, but we're just going to turn this heat down a little bit and just watch it, make sure we don't overcook it. It's really, really starting to smell amazing in here, y'all. I'm telling you, wait till you start cooking this. The house is just going to light up with that cinnamon and nutmeg. Um, but we should be right at our temperature. I'm going to check this. Yep, boom. The egg should be pasteurized. Um, no worries about getting sick, but now I'm just going to transfer this mixture into this my glass bowl. We're going to let this sit. We're going to finish this thing up, y'all. Now we're going to add a little bit of creaminess and set this over the top. I got one cup of heavy whipping cream. We're going to add this back to our mixing bowl. And then some sugar, just a little bit. Just like a tablespoon of sugar. Just because. Then we're going to take a tablespoon of vanilla extract. I'm just going to blend this together. Uh, we don't want to turn into whipped cream. We just want to thicken this up just a little bit. Um, I'll show you the consistency after it's done. But turn on like medium to high mix and just let it do its thing. All right, so this is done. Let's take a look at it. It'll be right where we want to be. So it's still running, but it's just a little bit thick. 
has a real nice texture. I'm just gonna pour this right into our mixture that we boiled from earlier. And now it's gonna help this cool down since the heavy whipping cream and everything else is cool. But man, it smells amazing. Fold this together. Get it mixed real, real evenly. All right, now it's done. We're just gonna set this in the fridge. I'm gonna set this in here overnight. And just let it chill and be ready to drink. Got our eggnog. It's been sitting for about about 14 hours. I made this last night. Um, but it turned out perfectly. I'm gonna do two glasses, y'all, because I want to taste this by itself. I just want to make me a drink. So I'm gonna just pour a little bit. I'm using this um Alberton Estate uh rum. It's a Jamaican rum. It doesn't add too much extra flavor to the eggnog, but if you're looking to get a little toasty. Doing this cold winter season, add just some rum to it. That's about a maybe a little bit over a shot, maybe. Hmm. Just go add. And then I'm gonna taste it by itself. Stir this one up. See how creamy the eggnog is. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try by myself first. It's delicious. Kind of reminds me of like a when you do like eat like a sweet potato pie. You lick the bowl before it's done. Kind of reminds me of. I don't know why, but I guess it's the nutmeg and cinnamon, but it's delicious. Mm. Mm. Now, that rum. Even better. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Like always, thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Super simple. Man, it smells so good when you're making it, y'all. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Happy holidays to you. Thank you for watching. JB Sutton Hands.